In this Playwright tutorial, I will discuss how to switch into iframes and also I will discuss how to drag and drop the elements in Playwright automation testing. So let's see the manual scenario first and we will automate the manual scenario. So here I will go to the web browser and so we will navigate to the jQueryUI.com slash droppable and if you see here in this web page so there is a drag me to my target so this is the source element and this is the drop here is a destination element so simply we will drag this element and we will drop here in the destination element so let's see how to automate this flow so I will navigate to the VS code. So let's write a simple code to drag and drop the elements in Playwright automation testing. So here I will quickly create a one spec file under chapter two. So here I'll say zero four underscore iframes underscore Dra drag and drop test dot spec dot ts that's it so i will go to one of the spec file and i will copy the content from the spec file and i'll paste it in the new spec file so simply i will delete the not required code from the spec file and let's update the test title here so here i'll say handling iframes drag and drop elements in playwright that's it. So firstly, we will navigate to the URL here by using the go to method. So simply I will copy this URL. And after that, once we add the URL here, so we will identify the two elements. One is the drag element and another one is drop element. So I will go back to the browser here. So I will refresh this page. Okay. So this is our drag element and this is our drop element. So let me inspect the elements. Okay, so now I will inspect the source source element. Sorry. So this is our source element. And if you see here, so this this has a due tag. Under this we have a ID class. And if you see the drop element also, even it has ID and class. So we will use the ID which contains the unique element so uh, simply i'll copy this attribute and a value and i'll paste it here so i'm trying to write a simple css css selector so if you see here simply i have added here attribute equal to the attribute value here and if you if I press enter, it's matching with the source element that is the drag element. So let's copy this CSS selector. And here I'll say page dot locator and I will add the locator here. Then I will assign back to the 
one constant variable called drag element. So similarly, we will identify the drop element also. So here I'll say drop element. So let's identify the drop element by using the ID. So if you see here, so this has the ID equal to droppable, sorry, drop droppable. So simply I'll copy this ID and value here. So let's cross check it. And if you see here, so it is matching with one of one element and also it is highlighting the destination element that is the drop element. So I will copy this selector and I will paste it here. Now we have identified drag and drop element and we have to use a simple method by using the simple method. So that is a playwright command you need to use it to drag and drop the element from source to the destination. So what I will do is simply I will write the await followed by source element that is the drag element dot drag to. So inside this method we have to pass the our destination element that is the drop element here. So that's it. So our, right now our test is ready almost. We have identified drag element and drop element and here we are writing a simple one line of code that will perform the drag and drop the elements in the respective destination. So this test will get failed because if you see this one, so if you look at this DOM details, so these two elements are present inside the iframe, right? So right now I will run this test. So it will get failed. So that is fine. And once our test got failed, we will identify the iframe and by using the iframe, we will identify the drag and drop elements. Then automatically drag and drop operation will happen. So I will run this test as of now. So it will get fail. So that is our expected results also. So let's wait and watch. So I will go back to the VS code here. So it is trying to drag and drop the element. And if you see here, so there is a test timeout, but it got failed at this line, line number 13. So this is the expected failure. So now let's identify the frame. So if you see this iframe, so this has the SRC attribute and a class value. So I will use the class value. So how we have identified drag and drop elements in the similar way, I will identify the iframe also. So simply I'm specifying in the square brackets ID equal to sorry attribute equal to the value and if you see here so it is matching with the iframe so i will copy this locator value and i will come back to the vs code so let's identify the iframe so here i'll say page dot and if you are specifying the frame locator simply you need to call to the method called frame locator and inside this you can pass the locator value that's it then i will assign back to the 
constant variable called iframe. That's it guys. So now we have identified the iframe. So by using this iframe, I can perform the actions inside the iframe, right? So simply I'll copy this element. And here we are using directly page. So here I'll use the iframe dot locator. So now I can perform any action on the drag element. So similar way, I will identify the drop element by using the iframe. So iframe dot. So I'm passing the locator that is the droppable, right? So now if you see here, if I'm performing any actions in the web page, say for example, if there are a number of buttons or elements here. So always you need to switch into the iframe first. Then you can identify any element. Then you can next you can perform the actions on the any of the elements within the iframe here. Now in our case, we have identified the iframe by using the iframe only. We are identifying the required elements and then by using the those elements, we are performing the drag and drop actions. Now let's run the run the test now. So this time our test will get passed. So let me close the previous session. And if you see here, so we are able to open the URL and also we are able to drag and drop the elements also. Correct. So this is how you can switch into the iframes and also you can perform the drag and drop operations in the playwright automation testing.